right, here we are. We are back at Manning Park three weeks later. Um, we tried three weeks ago and here we are for take two. Today, we are going to attempt to make it to Mowich Camp. Couldn't make it three weeks ago due to way too much snow on the trail. Well, let's go see what today brings us. It is nearly the end of July, July 25. So it would be crazy if there was still too much snow on the trail that we couldn't make it. I would definitely be surprised. And I did look at um, uh, trail conditions and it didn't say anything about snow, just about windfall being removed. So all so should be okay. I said anything about snow the first time. Uh, yeah. Right? right. Or we don't know. Uh, no, I never checked that report before we went last time. Right. <laughs> I found it after. All right. Okay, we're at the junction already. Skyline. There we go, Moage Camp. That's Let's us. go get it. That's us. Okay, come on, kids. There we go. There are definitely more flowers in bloom. Well, at least these beautiful purple flowers than when we were here last time. So I'm guessing we're gonna bump into probably a lot more of that. Meadows with flowers. Notice, backcountry camping fee, $5 per night, and applies to everyone six years of age and older. I forgot to purchase our backcountry permit. Um, well, I made it to the car, and we were just about to leave when I remembered we need a backcountry camp permit. So I had to run back upstairs and um, do that. So we're getting onto the trail maybe a touch later than we wanted to. It's about... It's about 10 o'clock and we were hoping for about 9 o'clock um, but I think this is still good. I am expecting, unlike last time when we were by ourselves in the middle of nowhere, that uh, we're going to be in the middle of uh, a number of other campers tonight. So excited. Let's see. We are entering the forest bit which I uh, took a lot of film of last time so I won't repeat all of the terrain again. Um, but this is a lovely four kilometers, kind of straight up, uh, really nice trail. So the doggos will walk up for the next four kilometers and then, uh, and then the real adventure on the mountain begins. All right, about a kilometer in so far. about four and a half kilometers in and compared to three weeks ago this is absolutely amazing no snow at all and I met some friends on the trail this is Christine and Jeremy two Jeremy's yeah. <laughs> and they are headed headed for Moach camp as well so I knew that it was gonna be a party at Moach camp tonight We'll see how many of us end up there. We just passed two hikers coming towards us who let us know that they are on their way back from Mowich camp and let us know that there's pretty much zero snow on the path, maybe just a little bit in one section. So we are going to make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it all the way to Mowich camp. We had to leave our new friends, Christina and Jeremy behind because we're dealing with a blister, but We'll catch up with them soon, hopefully. Okay, onwards. Look at all this lush. Yeah, the, uh, the greens and the flowers are out.
about five and a half kilometers in and just blown away by these beautiful flowers everywhere. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Stay on the path. Stay on the path. <sighs> so many more flowers than three weeks ago. Well, you can always look at the old video and look at this one. And yeah. Them. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I should. I should put them side <laughs> by side. One way to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh, here we are. So we are at uh, the... Nice. Remember us? Remember us? This is almost where we got turned around last time. We are headed down that away. Oh yeah, that's the way to Moch Camp. And we basically, we turned one switchback corner and then we got turned around, so. Our goal is to <laughs> make it at least one step. <laughs> no, our, our goal is to get okay. to Moch Camp, my goodness me. Kilometers in, we have six more K to go. Our watches are and Huh, okay. Nearly just about seven kilometers in, and it appears that uh, we've reached the bottom. It was not a very long descent at all, half a kilometer at the most. So the switch packs are done, and we're just walking along a lovely straight little trail. So we just passed uh, another couple of campers coming back from Moich Camp, uh, who informed us who informed us that we should get a site at Moich Camp. Eh? Uh, informed us that there are only four sites to throw down a tent officially at Moich Camp, but plenty other. I guess spots you could make it work. Probably a bit sloped. There were about seven to nine other, seven to nine groups there total last night. So we'll see what we get. Interesting. Ooh, views, views. We got more climbing. I'm uh, not sure how much longer this continues on for, but it's, it's definitely a hike up, straight up. Supposedly, we, uh, we've climbed 520 meters total so far. Uh, about seven and a half kilometers in. So, five more K to go yet. Still going up. <laughs> Found a little bit of snow. No. A little bit of snow. Oh, still got some more climbing up ahead too. Okay, maybe that's it. Maybe that's all the snow. Okay, climbing's done for now, I think. We're supposed to be headed into this like amazing, beautiful, gorgeous uh, meadow any minute now. Getting close, almost eight kilometers. Okay, I think we are approaching the beautiful, amazing meadows. We just stopped for a quick little break, <sighs> had a sandwich, and let the dogs run around, have a drink. And we've got about four kilometers, which we are told is pretty much um, ridgeline views all the way until we go down into the valley where the camp is. So. Let's go check it out. Okay, yeah, pretty many, pretty amazing. 
pretty stunning views. That's for sure. Still climbing. <laughs> Goodness, nice coming back tomorrow. Wow. I don't know if you can see it, the lake, way, 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 way down there, all the way at the bottom. If you were to accidentally fall off the path, you would just tumble all the way down and into the lake and go for a swim, basically, is what would happen. So be careful to watch the path while you're walking. Home, beautiful, wow, amazing. Absolutely stunning. We were told by another set of campers coming back that uh, it was a bit buggy at camp and it seems hard to imagine because like literally no bugs but when we stopped for sandwich um, definitely a couple bugs descended upon us right away I got bit by a black fly I think it was a black fly right away so we shall see but uh, certainly the hike is Absolutely. No complaints. I have zero complaints. Now, watch the trail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't fall here. Not a good place to fall. Not much of a path here. No, not much of a path. <laughs> so just like I mentioned three weeks ago, uh, when we were headed the other direction on Skyline 1, this is Skyline 1 Trail. Uh, this is, and we were on that for about four and a half kilometers going the opposite direction. Um, this is still Skyline 1 going towards Moj Camp, going the opposite direction we went last time. So we're on it for about six kilometers. And this is the path I would have been running uh, if I was doing Fat Dog 120 miler, which it would have been in two weeks time and will be next year now. So I have previewed about 10 kilometers of the 120 miles I would be running. <laughs> we are views on both sides. We got some snow over to the right and some more beautifulness over to the left. back into a little bit of forest just past 10 kilometers and about 650 meters elevation which is more than I thought the total would be it's interesting oh wow yeah lake beautiful okay seem to still be going up somehow if that's possible up 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 Way more climbing than I thought. <laughs> it's funny how when you expect something and then you hit the elevation you accept, expect, and then it just keeps going up. So I've thrown it out of my mindset that this is any given distance. It could be anything. And that's cool. I'm at 710 meters elevation. Closing in on thereabouts what climbing gross grind is. BCMC. Ooh. Oh, man. How are you hanging in there, bud? How are you he's, hanging in there? I think he's ready to walk oh, again. Yeah. He wants to walk again. Oh, he can't walk yet. I think we've final push. begun our descent into Moach Camp. Which actually, if we, out, if we do go down all the way to Moach Camp from here, that's a kilometer and a half of down. Yeah, so down. means we get to, to climb it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Dago said, time to walk. So, they're gonna walk it into camp. Maybe. <laughs> as long as they stay on the trail. Stay on the trail, kids.
11 and a half kilometers, so about 1K to go. Almost there. Just a nice, gentle downhill, winding downhill into the camp. About half a kilometer left to go. Ooh. Uh, going down? I don't get it. Like it's like a tree like this. Cool. Branches, branches grow down. <laughs> Who knows? Almost there, almost there. Ah, here we are. So I believe that this is the water source that uh, I've read about from Moage Camp. We've brought enough water, um, but there's definitely water that could, I would filter it, um, but could definitely be used for drinking water. Uh, we're only less than a half K away from camp, I think, but I will confirm once we get there. Oh, three. more, more water. <laughs> oh, the even a little bit better, maybe. Ah, oh, they're both good. They'd both do the trick if one needed water. <laughs> and another one, all within about 100 meters of each other. You wanna have a drink? Have a drink, Osh? Nope. No? This guy's like. This guy. You can do it. There we go. Nice one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So my watch just hit 13 kilometers. Uh, so either my watch is wrong or the signposts were wrong. I'm going with the signposts were wrong. <laughs> Who knows? And here we are, um, 13 kilometers in and we are entering Moich Camp. So the water sources were about half a kilometer out. That looks like, here we have it. That looks like we got a little outhouse. Hmm. Right there. And it looks like those are probably the best sites over there. This looks like it is going to be our campsite for tonight. So we get a little area to ourselves. Um, a little uneven, so we might be slightly on an angle like we were last time, but we will make it work. I think this will be quite lovely, and the sun will rise over there, and hopefully we'll hit our tent first thing, because there's nothing better than the sun hitting your tent first thing in the morning. All right, time to set up camp. So Moch Camp has a shelter at camp, and um, I've seen it in pictures and I knew it wasn't much to speak of. It is really not much to speak of. That's, it is. That's it. It is <laughs> barely a shelter. Yeah. They're good for the doggies. It's yeah, like a dog right. House. It's a deluxe dog house. <laughs> and bear cash. Oh. Which I wonder, do, does everybody make use of? Yep. Might as well. Yeah. It's easier well. than hanging from easier, a tree. Easier, much easier than hanging from a tree. Just toss it in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Change your plans. Change your plans. We're gonna throw down camp here. Because it's in the sun and it's just nicer to hang out and relax in the sun. And it's flatter. Flatter's a big one. Flatter's a really big one. And private. Really, yeah, everybody's here somewhere. It's privacy is about the same. This way, come this way, please. Um, it looks like there may be even more spots. Looks like you could possibly throw down a tent somewhere around here, also. Wow, yeah, lots of spots. I have found another water source, a little bit of water. A little trickle. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think that's it. 
All right, kids, let's go back, report back. Report back our findings, yes. totally. Okay, scouted it out down there. Gonna stay here. <laughs> but if like two dozen people showed up, there's totally room for everybody. Not to worry. <laughs> right? Yep, agreed. We're gonna camp in the sun. Tent is all set up. My sleeping bag and sleeping pad are all set up. And just chilling. Now we got here, it only took us four hours to get here. Uh, so four hours, 13 kilometers, 780 meters, no, 750 meters elevation. And we got here probably about an hour ago. So plenty of time to just chill out in the sun. Okay, almost dinner time. Uh, we might be ready now. Our stove is um, kind of going kaput. That was an off and on whether or not we'd have dinner tonight. <laughs> close call. So I think last time when our breakfast was a close call, it wasn't due to running out of fuel. It was more due to, I think our stove is on its last legs. Time for a new stove. Ocean, Ocean, come back here. Come back here. Finished up dinner, and now we're just gonna go explore just a tiny little bit. There's a uh, little hike, uh, go up to the ridge line hike. I don't really know much about it other than there's some nice views. Uh, we're not gonna try to make it all the way there. It'd be an hour out, an hour back. Uh, sun's just about to go down anyway, so not gonna do that, but I'm just gonna go um, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes up the trail and back. Still water worried. source, yep. Uh, filled up using this water source an uh, hour and a half ago or so. I went right up in there, grabbed some water from where it was a little water, a little very mini waterfall. Well, the only way to get out of the valley we are staying in, camping in, is go straight up. So, not sure whose idea this was. We're going straight up. <laughs> Get to a viewpoint and then appreciate the view and turn around. <laughs> and go lie down. You coming, bud? There we go. I think you're lost. Aww. <laughs> I am a little bit. Are you sure? Yeah, right. Pretty flowers. This is pretty. On the side of the yeah. Path. Little flowers just growing out of the stone. Wow. <laughs> just right there. Interesting. Okay. We keep going? Yeah. That's, uh, well, that wasn't the viewpoint. <laughs> that was a viewpoint. Kids are getting a ride. <laughs> They've had enough for today. They're done. <laughs> and I think we're just about at our viewpoint. Anyway, so that's perfect. Okay, we're heading back down. We really didn't find too much of a viewpoint, but we did find Christina and Jeremy number two. <laughs> they, they did make it to camp. <laughs> and then they actually went up for a hike. Well, yeah, we made like, dinner. You put that in. <laughs> no. But then you lost it. <laughs> <laughs> but we found you. Okay, Osh, I'm going to drop. Good morning. Ah, mosquito! Well, that was a much, much nicer or um, uh, warmer. It wasn't warm, but it was definitely warmer than our last overnight camp trip three weeks ago. Yeah. Much more comfortable. <laughs> 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 
being cute. Sky, you just relaxing? Just finished eating breakfast at the little communal area here. We are kind of the last ones to be eating breakfast. Everybody else is eating, packing up, getting ready to go. So our turn next. Okay. Okay. Our... Packing up camp. Packing up. Getting ready to roll on out. Getting ready to roll on out. You're just copying what I say? Oh yeah. <laughs> that was a good little spot. It is hot in the sun already. Yeah. This is going to be a lovely, some parts hot, hike back to the car. 13 kilometers back to the car. Coming up. Osh, Osh, did you fall over? Bye-bye, Moich Camp. Off we go. <laughs> and straight up, straight up to get out of here. Yeah, 18 meters of elevation so far. <laughs> it doesn't sound like much. Although we're only two minutes in. I may have made it sound a bit steeper than it actually is. Yeah, it's a little bit of a hike to get right out and then now it's turned into more a, a gentle incline with a few steeper parts and lovely parts. Poor kids. <laughs> Beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky, I don't think. Nope. Wow. Beauty day. Just some cool mountains over there. Yeah. Snow. And lots and lots and lots of wildflowers. Off the ridge, that is over. That was, uh, yeah, 4.7 kilometers of those beautiful views. And oof, right away, buggy. You wanna take a break here? Uh, quick break? Quick break. Quick break, quick break here. Oh, that was nice. Meat bar, epic meat bar snack. Shared probably <laughs> um, close to a third of it with the doggies, they're happy now. Get to walk for a little bit now that we're away from the ridge. We are just over an hour and a half in. It took us four hours to make it to Mowich camp uh, three or last yesterday. 
<laughs> when was that? <laughs> it took us four hours to make it to Moage Camp yesterday, and I'm guessing it'll probably take between, oh, I don't know, like three and a half to 3.45 to make it back to the car. You think we're going to be quicker, eh? No, yeah, a little quicker. Yeah. There, there's a slight less up. <laughs> so it certainly seems like a lot of up so far. Right now, we got a little bit of down. Going down into Despair Pass, it is called. And then we have to climb up out of Despair Pass, which will bring us to Lightning Lake Junction. into Despair Pass for just over a kilometer and still going, still going down. A little up, but mostly down. Okay, and now we're headed up out of Despair Pass. Uh, I was about at 6.2 kilometers, so almost a kilometer and a half of down. And now, let's see how far we go. Straight up. They're all ahead of me. Yeah, it was a good... That was a good climb, eh? Good climb. Oh, oh she got a bug there. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's keep going. Okay, we are... Reached the junction. Getting there. Getting there. Six and a half K back to the car, so. Yeah. Whew. Well, actually, we did it. We made it to Moach Camp. Right. We we did what we set out to do for right. the first time. For the first time <laughs> this year. Woohoo! Instead of three, we actually made it to where we wanted to go. And we hiked this in about the hottest hours of the day. Left at ten, arriving here around two p.m. And I am so glad to see this parking lot. 